let's make this beautiful cake using frostbomb. So when you get your box, you get your base liner, your base, your crumb coater, your form and your liner. Start with your sponges, the thickness you need them and leveled off. And then we're gonna use the crumb cutter and just go into each one of those, making sure that they're all the same size. This will give us that straight structure that we really need. Oh, now look, how satisfying is that? Is it just me? Maybe it's me. Onto the buttercream, make sure that you use a piping bag that's 21 inches deep. I am using the frost form ones here and filling that with my buttercream. You can fill it with whatever you like. And then we are now going to secure the base liner to the base. This will stop everything sliding around, which is really important. So we're gonna pop this on the top and we're gonna flip it over, push it down so it's really stuck and then turn it back over. Next, we're gonna take our crumb cutter and we're going to put that on the top. This will have the liner put inside of it. This can be a little bit fiddly. If it's new, roll it back the other way and then pop it in. And we're gonna put our layer of buttercream right through into the bottom. This is important because this is acting like the glue to keep everything together onto that base and stop everything from floating up. Give all those layers a really good push down, make it nice and solid, and then pull up your crumb cutter to the middle and pop it in the fridge or freezer. When it's completely set and the buttercream's hard around the outside, we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna peel off the liner. Look, I sat and this is. Now everything is really sturdy and in place and that base is completely stuck to that cake so we have success and on to the next stage. Grab something that your cake can sit on top of but small enough to go inside the former and then we're going to pop the cake on and wrap that liner all the way around the outside, push the liner into the form and then slide it up and it'll all secure into place. Once you're happy that everything's in the right place and it is all secure it's time to clip it together. It's so easy just slot it in just like that. When you look through the top there should be about a quarter inch gap around the outside Side, not any bigger. I am using the butter ganache from the Frostform website for this one. You must go onto the website to find all the recipes. They have been very carefully tailor-made just for the liners and these will give you the best results. Melt your butter and pour it over your chocolate. Leave it to rest. If it's not quite melted you can just give it a couple more pings in the microwave. So once it looks like that you can colour it. Make sure that if you are using the chocolate that you do use an oil-based colouring. So I'm using colour meal here and I'm just creating a little marbled effect and this is what I'm going to pour over my cake. I'm so excited. The butter ganache is so simple you can literally just pour it from the bowl. So look at this. Look at the difference in the colours as they come through. I'm loving the marble effect. Keep going until you cover just over the top of your cake and then you can stop. We're gonna pop it then into the fridge or the freezer until it's completely set. To remove those pesky air pockets, just give it a light tap a few times on the side and then you can twirl it around and see if there are any pockets of air there that you need to sort out. Now we're gonna put that into the fridge or the freezer. So how do you know whether it's ready or not? So you can see here, this has come out, we're removing the form all the way down and you can see on the outside, it's almost looking a bit translucent in places. And that means the line is starting to come away slightly. So unclip it and then just pull it around. Oh, look, the satisfaction is lovely. Okay, now you need to flip it. Be brave, come on, we can do it. Turn it right over and then we need to remove that base off the bottom and the liner. So we're just gonna pop a knife very gently into there and it pops off and then we're gonna do the very same thing with the liner there and that just peels away, no problem at all leaving that super flat bottom. Pop another on and over again and look at this. It is stunning. It is so sharp. I find this so super easy. Look how I decorated it and I hope you try this soon.